grade. Welcome to art today. Today for art you will need a couple of things. You will need your mittens. You will also need your animal pictures. And then besides that you will need to have your listening ears for our story. You will need a scissors. If you have a glue stick or a glue bottle you will also want that for our project today. And then crayons and colored pencils. If you would choose to use marker um, that would be okay but the coloring of the animals would probably turn out better. You'd probably be a little more satisfied with it if you used crayon or colored pencil. Now before we listen to our story, the mitten, you need to first go ahead and cut your mittens out. So you're just going to go ahead and cut them out right along the lines. Now it is important that you're cutting them out carefully because they have to end up going together. So if you're not very careful with your cutting, then you're going to end up with mittens that don't match up. Now what we're doing is we're actually taking this template and we are going to make two sides of a mitten and make it into one whole mitten. Okay. So once you get the one cut out, you need to go ahead and cut the other out as well. So go ahead and make sure that you get started on that. Once they're cut out, your next step is going to be to color them, but I'm going to show you exactly uh, how that's going to happen in a second here. You get my mitten cut out for you so that you can see that we'll have two mittens that are exactly the same size. Okay. When you get both of them cut out, you will notice that they're two of the same size. But when I put them together, when I put them together to be able to stuff them like a real mitten, um, what we're going to notice is that we are going to uh, need to color the back side of one and the front side of the other. Okay? So when you do your coloring, you're going to color the front side of the one and the back side of the other. Now, when I do my gluing, I'm going to glue along here, but I'm going to leave the, the cuff of the mitten open. So to show you what that'll look like, I'm just going to go ahead and put some glue down. I do not want to glue the middle. Okay? I do not want to glue the middle. And the reason I don't want to glue the middle is because during the story, to get your um, animals cut out. During the story, we're actually going to have animals that are going to come and try to stay in our mittens. And so you'll get to do a little role play with your mittens. Okay? Now, the reason that I did not glue the top is because the top is where the, the animals are going to come in. Okay? So, um, once you have it glued, if you used glue, you're going to let it sit for just a little bit so that that can start to um, stick on to each other. If you use um, glue stick, you'll probably still want to make sure that you're pressing down on it, making sure that it gets stuck together both sides. Okay? Um, and then once you have your mitten done, you have it colored, you have it glued except for the top cuff, then you're going to come to your animals and you're going to color in your animals. Once your animals are cut or are colored, you're going to go ahead and cut them out. Now you may see Mrs. Frazier, that's really detailed and I'd say you, it is. So what you might choose to do is what I'm doing here and that's just color them in nicely, nicely, adverb, and then cut them out like this. This would be okay. So if you cut them out, just like that, then you'll still be able to see exactly what animal it is um, and you'll still have a really good uh, picture to stick in. So during the story, what will happen is you'll go ahead and as the, as the animal comes along, they'll get put into the mitten. Okay. Now, you made sure to give your mittens time to dry. Make sure to do this first, then color and cut out your animals. If you give your mitten time to dry, you should be able to 
uh, take the animals in and out as you need to in the story and uh, and be able to do this over and over and over again. So, mitten first, cut them out. You're coloring the front of one side and the back of the other, gluing it along the mitten here, not on the cuff. Do not glue in the middle because we need to be able to stuff the animals in. Color and cut out your animals and then you're ready for our story. The Mitten by Jan Brett. Once there was a boy named Nicky who wanted his new mittens made from wool as white as snow. At first, his grandmother, Baba, did not want to knit white mittens. If you drop one in the snow, she warned, you'll never find it. But Nikki wanted snow white mittens, and finally Baba made them. After she finished, she said, when you come home, first I will look to see if you are safe and sound, but then I will look to see if you still have your snow white mittens. So off Nikki went. And it wasn't long until one of his new mittens dropped in the snow and was left behind. See? Now in the story first grade, you're going to notice that there's these mittens on the outsides of both of the pages. And that gives us a little extra picture of what's happening in the story. On the right hand side, this helps you to know and be able to predict what's going to happen next. A mole tired from tunneling along, discovered the mitten and burrowed inside. It was cozy and warm and just the right size, so he decided to stay. So you have your mitten, you have your mole, and now you're going to put the mole inside your mitten. What might happen next? Think. A snowshoe rabbit came hopping by. He stopped for a moment to admire his winter coat. It was then that he saw the mitten, and he wiggled in, feet first. The mole didn't think there was room for both of them, but when he saw the rabbit's big kickers, he moved over. So now you have your mitten again. The mole's still in there, and now you need to add the rabbit the rabbit in. Oh, that might be the next animal. Next, a hedgehog came snuffling along. Having spent the day looking under wet leaves for things to eat, he decided to move into the mitten and warm himself. The mole and the rabbit were bumped and jostled, but not being ones to argue with someone covered in prickles, they made room. Okay, so now you have your third animal. Find your porcupine or your hedgehog and put your hedgehog in your mitten. As soon as the hedgehog disappeared into the mitten, a big owl, attracted by the commotion, swooped down. When he decided to move in also, the mole, the rabbit, and the hedgehog grumbled. But when they saw the owl's glinty talons, they quickly let him in. So now you have your owl. Your owl. You need to stick your owl in here too. Put him in the mitten. Up through the snow appeared a badger. He eyed the mitten and began to climb in. The mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, and the owl were not pleased. There was no room left. But when he saw the diggers, he gave him, they gave him the thumb. So now, if you didn't fully glue, you could even try to put, it might be a little hard, to stick the badger in. Don't try to rip, you'll rip your paper. You'll rip your mittens. So now make sure that your badger's in. It started snowing, but the animals were snug in the mitten. 
A waft of warm steam rose in the air and a fox trotting by stopped to investigate. Just the sight of the cozy mitten made him feel drowsy. The fox poked his muzzle in. When the mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, the owl, and the badger saw his shiny teeth, they gave the fox lots of room. A great bear lumbered by. He spied the mitten all plumped up. Not being one to be left out in the cold, he began to nose his way in. The animals were packed in as tightly as could be. But what animal would argue with a bear? The mitten swelled and stretched. It was pulled and bulged to many times its size. But Baba's good knitting held fast. Along came a meadow mouse, no bigger than an acorn. She wiggled into the one space left and made herself comfortable on top of the great bear's nose. The bear, tickled by the mouse's whiskers, gave an enormous sneeze. Ah, ah, ah The force of the sneeze shot the mitten up into the sky and scattered the animals in all directions. So now you take all your animals out of the kitchen. On his way home, Nikki saw a white shape in the distance. It was the lost mitten, silhouetted against the blue sky. Those poor animals. As he ran to catch his snow white mitten, he saw Baba's face in the window. First she looked to see if he was safe and sound, and then she saw that he still had his new mittens. All the animals are going away. And look, here's the one that the animals all went into. And here's the other mitten. Do you think Baba's gonna ask any questions about why that mitten is so big? The end. So this is Jan Brett first grade. Jan Brett is the one who wrote the story of the three Dassies that we read during reading class already this year. Uh, she is a very, very talented artist um, and a writer. She does all the writing and the illustrating for her books. Um, and this one was a folk tale, a Ukrainian folk tale. So she adapted it into her own and illustrated the story herself. Um, so hopefully you had a good time making your mittens, coloring in your animals, sticking them in, making them all come out uh, during the story. Feel free to listen to it again uh, or find it online and listen to it again. Uh, or if you have the book yourself or you go to the library, you could rent this one. But when we're done today, now that we're done, I would like you to make sure that your name is on your mitten somewhere. Um, keep your animals inside of your mitten, and I would like you to put it in your Friday folder so that I can take a look at all of your mittens. Have a wonderful day, first grade.